In this video, I'm going to be answering a very specific question about the vigilante training room that a lot of you guys have. And the question is, why is the biker charge damage that you get from the vigilante training room not added to your battle report? To understand why, we have to take a look at the talents in the vigilante training room. Inside the training room, you have two types of talents. There are talents that buff the attributes that are shown in battle reports, and then there are talents that buff your troop skills. To figure out whether a talent buffs your attributes or your skills, all you need to do is you need to read the name of the talent. If the talent has the word skill inside of it, then it means that it buffs your troop skill and not your troop's attributes. For example, in the biker tree, the first skill is the biker defensive perk up skill, and since this talent doesn't have the word skill in it, it means that it buffs the biker's attributes or stats. The second talent, however, is the dodge skill perk up, which means it only applies to the dodge skill. In the same way, the fourth talent is the charge skill perk up, which means that it only applies to the charge skill. Now, all bikers from tier 1 to tier 10 have this charge skill, and so the buffs that you get from upgrading this talent will apply to the charge skills of all of these bikers from tier 1 to tier 10. However, once you reach tier 11 bikers, they have the advanced charge skill and not the charge skill, which means that the attributes of the charge skill perk up talent will not apply to tier 11 and higher bikers. To upgrade their skills, you'll have to go down the tree and unlock the advanced charge skill perk up talent. Now the charge stat that you see in your battle reports applies to both of these skills. It applies to the charge skill of the tier 1 to tier 10 bikers, and it also applies to the advanced charge skill of tier 11 and higher bikers. This is why the two buffs are different and cannot be added, and hence they're shown separately. If you want to see whether you're getting these buffs or not, all you need to do is you need to check your troop composition in the report, and at the top where you're shown your vigilante skills, you'll also be shown your vigilante training room talents, and by tapping on them, you can check which talents are active during the battle. In the same way, shooters have a talent called the Defending Turf Skill Perk Up Talent, which says that it increases the attack stat of crews while defending turf and the defense stat as well. However, since this is a skill buff, it'll only apply to female shooters, since only female shooters have a skill that gives them an extra buff while defending turfs. Similarly, you have a talent called Offensive Defense Skill Perk Up for vehicles. Here it says that it increases the defense stat of crews while attacking turfs and reduces damage received by crews while attacking turfs. But again, since this is a skill buff, It'll only apply to carriers since only carriers have a skill that gives them an extra buff while attacking turfs. And finally, the last example that I'm going to give you is the Bulletproof Vest skill perk up. Since the Bulletproof Vest skill is only a skill that applies to tankers, the effects of this skill will only apply to tankers, and hence it won't be added to your battle report stats. So that is why certain vigilante training room buffs are not added to battle reports. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.